Hello, my new eighth graders. Welcome to day two of your language arts NTI experience. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed our first day together on Monday. I'm still just so excited and thankful for this school year with you. Also, really, really love seeing all of your legacies come through on Google Classroom. You guys are doing fantastic on that assignment. It is very clear that you guys are prepared to leave really powerful, positive legacies here at OCMS, and I'm already just so proud of you. If you are someone who's still working on that assignment, no worries. You have until tomorrow at midnight to get your legacy decoration finished and submit it to me either on Google Classroom or you can drop it off at the school. Um, all those details are on Monday's assignment. Today is our second day of class, and before we start diving into all the language arts things, I want to take a day to really dissect and break down our class expectations with you and encourage you to set goals using those expectations. Despite what you're thinking, expectations are not just used in school buildings. Expectations are used across workplaces everywhere. Someday, you guys are going to have a boss that has expectations for you. Or maybe someday you guys will be the boss who has expectations set for their employees. Regardless of your environment, expectations are so important to creating a positive, productive environment for people to work in. We very briefly discussed our classroom expectations on Monday's Google Meet. So now we're going to do a deep dive into what those expectations mean and you guys are going to take some time and reflect on how you personally can set goals for those expectations. We're also going to take some time to dive deep into our grade level expectations for effort. You guys will be getting some information on that and what we as a grade level expect of all of our 8th graders. So let's do this. Expectation number one of room 121 says be genuine and respectful of alternative viewpoints. Like I said on Monday, we're going to be discussing some heavy, weighty topics. It's going to be so important for you guys to be respectful of people even when they disagree with you. Expectation number two of room 121 says honor the voices of our classroom. So whether that is an author or you guys or me, or a visitor in our classroom. We are honoring all the voices that come into room 121. We're listening to them, we're giving them the time of day, and we're learning from them, and hopefully collaborating with them. Expectation number three of room 121 says, treat our people, Google Meets, resources, and interactions with respect. So we're here to learn. Ultimately, that's our goal, is for you guys to learn and to be able to progress through school so that someday you are successful communicators and readers and writers. So in order to do that, in order to actually learn, we need to make sure that we're using all of our resources appropriately and with the purpose that they were intended to be used for. So that goes for any resource that's used in class, but also specifically for this period of time, our Google Meets. Expectation number four of Room 121 says to be prepared for both recorded and live videos. So it is expected that you are coming to the Google Meets. That's how you can be prepared for the live meetings that we have. You're coming, you're sitting, you're participating, you're listening, you're collaborating, all those things. But there's also this whole other layer happening behind the scenes with these videos. It's expected that you're watching the videos, it's expected that you're taking notes if you need to, which we'll get into that later in our ELA experience. And it's also expected that you guys are doing the assignments that go with all of this because that's how we are going to help you learn here at OCMS and it's how we're going to be able to measure what you know and what you don't know. And our last expectation and possibly my favorite is expectation number five, bring humor. Like I said on Monday, you guys are human beings and it is so important to me for you guys to feel comfortable enough to be yourselves in our classroom. That starts with being yourself. So feel comfortable and feel open to make a joke, to say something witty or sarcastic. Obviously there's an appropriate time and place to do that and we'll walk through what that looks like um, over time, but be yourselves. That's why you guys are awesome is because you're yourself. Okay, so those are our classroom expectations for room 121 in language arts. We're going to talk about two expectations that our grade level has set so that regardless of whether you're in my class 
or Mr. Lamar's or Miss Mass or Miss Moody's or whoever's class, you're walking into these classes with these same two expectations. We're calling these expectations employability skills. So these are two skills that no matter what career field you go into, it's really important for you to know how to do these things and for you to be disciplined enough to do these things. This is all about effort. Employability skills are things that are going to help you in high school, into college, into your careers, whatever path you go down. These are skills that every single These are skills that every single career field uses. So, we're looking at two. The first thing we're going to be tracking is whether or not you turn your assignments in on time. This is such an important skill for everybody to have. For, again, regardless of what career you go into or what high school you go to or what college or school you go to from here, it is so important for you guys to know about deadlines and to know how to manage your time so that you turn things in when they're supposed to be turned in. I have deadlines as a teacher. I'm sure your parents have deadlines that they have to meet regardless of what career field they work in. The second thing we're going to be tracking as an 8th grade team is how prepared you are for class. So are you coming to Google Meets? Are you watching the videos at home? Are you doing the assignments at all? Making sure that you are actually participating in our classes and making sure that you are getting the work done that needs to get done. So now from here you guys are going to set some goals for yourselves using both our classroom expectations and our grade level expectations that we just discussed. If you're watching this on our Google site you're going to scroll down and you are going to see a Google form there for you guys to fill out. I've also attached pictures of our, our classroom expectations and the grade level expectation slideshow if you guys would like to look through those just to reference. When you're answering the questions on the Google form, be honest, I'm the only one who's going to be reading these. Um, no one else in our class is going to read them. The idea is for you to really take a second before we jump into language arts and before we get go forward as a class for you to know and be self-aware of what you can be doing in the next few days to really enhance our classroom experience together. But there's a catch. <laughs> Sorry, there's always a catch with me. You have to write in full sentences. Whoa, so sorry about that, guys. But again, welcome to Language Arts. We're gonna write in full sentences this year. So there are some elements that make up a full sentence. If you can think back to elementary school, you've probably heard of these before. There are four elements that make a sentence full and complete. As you're writing your response and your goals, to the Google form, I want you guys to write in full sentences. So every single sentence that you write should have these four elements. First one, your sentence should start with a capital letter. Every single time. Two, it should have a subject. There should be something that it's about. Whether that's I, or me, or you, or a dog, or classroom expectations. Every single full complete sentence has a subject. Otherwise, it's just a weird verbal phrase, like ran to. That's not a sentence. The third thing a sentence needs is a predicate. Don't panic. Predicate is a super fancy way of saying a verb or a verbal phrase that shows what the subject is doing in the sentence. So for example, if our subject is I, and it's capitalized at the beginning of a sentence, don't forget that. I need a verb to show my audience what I, my subject, is doing. So, I am sitting. That's a sentence. It's a short one, but it's a sentence. If I want to spice it up a little bit, I can add some adjectives, I could add some adverbs, I could add a whole other phrase and clause to make it a complex sentence. We could get crazy with this, guys. And the last thing that a sentence needs, a full, complete sentence, needs an end mark. There are three options for end marks you can pick from. You can use a period, an exclamation point, or a question mark. In our case today, you're probably not going to need a question mark unless you're just questioning your existence in like in a metaphysical way, but we probably don't need to do that. That just seems like way too heavy for a Thursday. Let's stick with period, exclamation point. So with that in mind, go set some goals, people. Go think about what you want this year to look like. Go look at our classroom expectations. What do you want to add to Room 121? What goals do you want to set to make Room 121, both online and in person, absolutely the best place you could possibly be on any given Monday through Friday. As always, if you need anything at all, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I am here for you guys, and I'm so thankful to be your teacher, and I look forward to reading your goals for this year.